here we are going to build um, an authentication system with Nux.js, Laravel, and Beautify. Um, to get started with, we are also going to add in email verification, um, where we're going to generate a random string that we would then ask the user to enter to verify that they have created a user. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this Nux Beautify. And to start out with, we want to go in in the terminal and we just want to go in and say Labo new backend. And in another terminal, we can go in and say npx create nux app frontend. So it's very important um, you can just go in with npm and install npx, but it's very important that we just go in and put the right configuration here in the Nox app for it to work. <coughs> we are also going to be looking at how to basically use the middleware function to protect routes from unauthenticated users. We are going to look at how to use the layer function, error handling, and we are also going to be looking into potentially um, sending an email verification, which we're going to look at in another part. So let's just call this front end and use JavaScript. We want to use NPM in this case. You can use potentially whatever you want. We want to use Beautify. Uh, this one we can just leave. We don't know. We don't want to use any framework here because we're using Laravel. I tend to just select all of these three here. Um, and we can use Proteo none there as universal and that's it so with that said in the back end here let's go in and go in and require level add-on of sanctum but previously known as alloc so we can just go in here in the documentation and you will see on official package that Laravel Sanctum, which previously known as Ada, you can install by requiring like this. So if we just go in here, it will basically go in and require it. Additionally, we want to go in and publish the vendor files. And we don't really need to migrate it because we are not going to use the API tokens. Um, so we're just going to migrate it anyways but while of all of this is installing um let's go ahead and take a look in the backend configuration here so inside our config file which is where we're going to allow the session domain uh inside of we act sorry inside um session here we're gonna have um a section where there's a domain and we want to basically, we can either set it in here as default, but in this case, we're just going to have this as no, and actually just leave it like this. And we're going to go inside the env configuration. All right, so in here, you want to just go in and say session domain equal to We're going to have session to name and we're going to have that equal to localhost. You can change this to the host you're going to use when you deploy application. It's just important that we access all of the um, servers and the front end from the localhost. Otherwise, it will not go through because we can only allow sessions on this domain. So with all of that said, let me just quickly jump into one of my other projects here. Um, in this case, I'm going to literally just go in here and I'm going to go in the front end here. And I'm going to just go in and copy and paste this here. And let's go in and close this. And then instead of this one, we're just going to call this Nux. And let's go in and create this database here. 
I'm using Postgres, but you can obviously use whatever you want. So by having this database set up now under this prof and oh sorry, we should probably just go in and copy and paste this again. And we will wait a bit with the migration, but we are gonna migrate it anyway. So inside the users here, we wanna have two extra tables. We wanna have admin, which is boolean. You could obviously go in and set in um, a more advanced system here, but we're just gonna stick with this. And then we can also add in a um, string, which is gonna be a code and this one is gonna be nullable because you could potentially use this for two-factor authentication um this is the reason why i'm showing it this way not sending a link because we want to look into how to acting uh, you can go in and implement it as a two-factor authentication so you you can actually just take what i have this tutorial here and use this every time the user sign in um we actually don't need email verify and but we are gonna use it just for the sake of information um and additionally there's actually nothing else we want to do in here so with that said let's go in and call this just next and let's go in here and require lava ui and then let's go in and see php addison UI preset bootstrap opt and we should probably remove the preset here, I think. We are actually not going to use Bootstrap, you're just going to generate the Bootstrap from here. Sorry, running the command again. Anyways, so while we are going to do that, let's go in here in the controllers. Um, or we can actually go in here in the front end to see the into front end and just see what we have to work with. You can see here is building the models and all of that with Max.js here. Um, and we don't need to do any of the NPM or anything here. You can ignore that for here. Um, we actually want to go in here and modify the register controller. So we want to go in here and remove all of this here. We want to use this. We want to call this store and we want to just have a request with request and then we just want to say request validate and we want to go in here and call this um, request instead additionally we want to go in and say up code is gonna be str random or we can say um rand and in here we have maximum of um six And as you can see, we can just put in six here and this should be fine. And this is going to be the authentication code we're going to put in. And beside that, we can, we can actually see if we can use STL random. But no, so we're just going to use random. 
Ah, okay, so anyways, with that done, well, we want to actually go in and make sure that we have the proper things in here so we can get rid of these. And import the actual request we want to use. And we want to look into sending an email later, but let's just go in and say PHP Addison make mail. And we want to call this mail verify, and then we want to have markdown equals to auth.verify. This will go inside resources here and go inside views. And let's go in and just remove everything else. And we're just gonna send email in here. And what we actually just want to do in here, we just want to send the text. So just have like B and then we want to basically pass in the text here. So let's look at that later on. So on the front end now, we can go in and see what we have to work with here. In here, we just want to get rid of everything. We want to delete this file inside layouts we are gonna get rid of yeah let's say we get rid of everything here and then let's say we go and say contact and then let's put container and then let's put next and then also Let's just go in and say script export default mail and then let's call this default. Also, just want to go in here and have something called admin. Oh, sorry. So, let's just go in here and basically refactor this while wow, this is loading so what we want to have here is admin.view and in here we want to just load in the admin configuration but with that said what we can go in here and do is we can just go in here and have a file called admin inside admin product and in here we're gonna say template I'm not sure why this is not loading here but let's just go in here and fix this Let's go in here and say script. Okay, there seems to be an issue with the configuration in PHP Storm when I create that file. It basically gets me and let's go in here and say editor. And sorry for doing this, but okay, so we're going to go in and fix that in another video. So, um I think we can begin leaving this video now. Um, 
just one more thing. Let's go in here and edit the script. Alright, so in the next video we are going to look at signing views and all other things.